Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week, guys. So what is it that we're going to be adding this week? Well, if you ask me, we are going to be adding to our building a tool bag floodlights or work, work lights, guys. So everybody's going to need one. I know I carry my small little Streamlight flashlight or my hard hat um, LED Milwaukee light, but sometimes you're going to need more light than that. That way everybody's working around you being productive. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. So the one light that I myself have and probably would recommend is I carry this baby in the truck. Now this is going to be the Snap-on 922261 LED work light. So if you take a look at it, it's going to be a lightweight LED light. It's going to be amazing. You're going to have four rows of LEDs. The, the, top, the top row and the bottom row is going to be 11 LEDs. And the two center rows are going to be 12 LED rows and with a total of 46 LEDs. Now this is going to come out to 2000 lumens LED. Long lasting, durable, super bright LEDs. Integrated LED bolts so you never have to replace them. Now if it goes bad, you're just going to have to get rid of the light. But they're going to last you a good while. So that's going to be this baby right here. It's going to have a low power consumption sealed on and off switch back here. As you can tell, it's going to be sealed. Ah, let's go ahead and undo this. And... It's also going to be for indoors and outdoors dry locations, guys. So I highly recommend not getting wet, but it does happen. You know, it's part of the work work out there. Um, you're going to have a low energy LED light. Stays cool to the touch, unlike those fluorescent or halogen lights. Or I'm sorry, the halogen lights. Once you touch it, you're going to end up burning. If you have some plastics or anything around there, it'll end up melting. I'm sure you've run into it. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about when it comes to being out there in the field working. And it's also going to have right here adjustable angle knobs. we got one right here and one over here. That way it's easy to tilt for the light, light adjustments. So it's going to have a cord right there and it's going to be a six foot cord and it's going to be a three prong so let's go ahead and turn this baby on i'll go ahead and point it over here and there you go as you can tell it's going to be super bright it doesn't compare to what i'm looking at but it is going to come in handy let's go ahead and turn it off and plug it right here now on amazon you're going to be able to find this for $79.59. I will say this, I did find this at Costco's and it ended up being about $40 right about. It's going to be an amazing, amazing light. It's also going to have an aeronomic pad carrying handle right here. So with that being said, you could also take these babies apart, the screws in there, and you could put it to any mount, halogen mount, which is going to come in handy in case you want to change out those halogen halogen lights that way you don't end up burning yourself so this is going to be for as far as corded now we all know corded oh one thing i also did forget to mention it is snap-on snap-on does offer lifetime warranty but i've heard that if you buy it through a third-party vendor which is like amazon they will not they will not comply with the warranty so be on the lookout with that. I, like I said, I treat my items very well. I usually don't give them too much abuse. They do, they do encounter abuse, but as far as taking care of, I do take care of all my stuff or try to, but you know how it is in the work field. So, like I said, we all need work lights, but let's say you don't have any power around you and you want, you don't want to be carrying a generator, an inverter, whatever the case is going to be. It's just a hassle having corded items these days. So with that being said, my next item is going to be the Milwaukee 2361-20 M18 LED Floodlight Rover. I just got it. Brand new item. I've had one before. It's going to work amazing. I still have one, but I just decided to buy another one. That way you can take a look at it. So let's go ahead and open it. My other one's been through some abuse, but this is gonna be a brand new one. Instructions and some Milwaukee brochures. Let's go ahead and throw this baby. Open it up and take a look at it. So this is gonna be the Milwaukee 23681, 
61-20 Rover Lite. As you can tell, you're going to have your settings right here. Battery goes back here. So let's get right into it. So this is going to be 30% brighter than a 250 watt halogen. It's going to be battery life with the XC 5.0 right here. Let's go ahead and slide it right here. So the battery life on the high, high, let's turn it on. Look at that. Nice and bright. So you're going to have a couple settings up here. So first of all, it's going to be your bright settings. On the bright settings with the 5.0 battery, you're going to get five hours of work time so says milwaukee and that's going to be 1500 lumens of light and on the low settings the next button right over here you're going to get 780 lumens and 10 hours of work light which is still really bright guys so like i said you have your two buttons right here settings high and low okay and it's going to be a multiple hanging features so it's going to be able to sit, it's going to have an octagon shape right here, as you can tell, so you're able to tilt it, 45 angle, face it straight up, other side, other side, facing down, if you have something in between it holding it, that way you're working down these, and also you're going to be able to have uh, stands, so right here, let me see real quick, right here you're going to have a hole, which let's say you have some half inch conduit, three eighths rod, whatever it is, you're able to drive it down in the ground or anchor it down, whatever you want to do, slide it on through, and now you have a standing light right there. That way you can perform some work. And also you're going to be able to have some hangers right here. So if you want to carry it up here, you're able to just hang it. So that's going to be for that and also you're going to be able to have an innovative roll cage design stands up and uh, stands up to the abuse at job site condition. So this is going to be the roll cage right around here. Let me get in a little closer. So the roll cage right here. This baby takes a beating guys. You can throw it around whatever you want to do. It's going to take a beating. It has a resistance of dust and splashing from any angles and it's gonna resist up to 12 feet of dropness so if you drop it up to 12 feet Milwaukee says that it will resist it I have dropped it a couple times like I said my other light does have some abuse to it but it's still kicking and working and it's gonna be it it's gonna meet the international or ingress protection code 54 or IP54. Now on Amazon you're gonna be able to find it for $96 and 86 cents and at Home Depot it's on sale right now for 76 79 dollars sorry so like I said guys you are gonna need some work lights I preferably use battery operated lights just because I'm on the go all the time and also sometimes I don't have any means of work power around so I go ahead and use these six eight hours ten hours on the low beam is going to be more than your eight hours and most of the times i have extra batteries that way just swap them out and go from there so that's going to be it guys that's going to conclude our video for building building our tool bag segment and that's going to conclude my video for the one tool a week guys don't forget once we reach 750 subscribers i will be giving away the capri tools 38 socket set and just a little Letting y'all know Home Depot does sell Capri tools and right now I believe one of the, our subscribers went ahead and told me that it's about $35 to $36 for the whole set. So it is on sale still. So guys, thanks for watching. One tool a week, guys.